Good evening. Tonight, the Des Moines City Council is laying out a plan to address their colleagues' chronic absence. And Dara Shoemaker has not responded to her colleagues, constituents, or the media for months. And now the city is taking steps to make sure Ward 1 is properly represented. KCCI's Ophelia Jacobson is live to tell us what happens next. Ophelia. Stacy, Laura, I'm here on the south side of Ward 1, which is the area that Indira Shoemaker represents. Now, Shoemaker had until today to respond to this letter that Mayor Frank County sent her just last week, and she didn't. Now, the next few city council meetings will be crucial in figuring out what comes next. It's the million dollar question. Where is Indira Shoemaker? I say, I don't know what's going on with her. We don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with her. Now the question becomes, what's next? In a statement to KCCI, City Manager Scott Sanders says it's up to City Council to choose a course of action to move forward and facilitate first ward representation. Oh, I think we're really going into new territory and we're looking at, uh, we've looked at all the different options. Uh, so we will be proceeding forward in the best manner that we can for the residents of Des Moines. Councilwoman at large Connie Bozen says the city council will set a hearing during its next meeting on September 11th. Then during October's meeting, the city council will decide what to do next. Really the option now is to remove from office uh, and or have her come forward. Jeremy Gertis says he and his neighbors are frustrated with Shoemaker's absence. So we've seen we've seen several instances where that has where our lack of a Ward 1 representative has uh, affected us. He's asked Shoemaker to resign and he's even called on city council members to remove her. You just cannot represent people if you don't show up to the meetings. But Brent Castle says people are being too aggressive toward her. I don't know for whatever reason people seem to want to pile on and dear and I just I don't get it. I don't understand it. While he does wish she was more responsive, he says Shoemaker silence hasn't affected him personally. He voted for Shoemaker and still supports her. She was a, a good voice to have on council. I think we had a lot of the same voices from a lot of the other people and she brought a, a fresh perspective that was was good to have. Now, everybody that I talked to today say they're concerned for Shoemaker's well-being. They say they just hope she's OK. I called her multiple times today and even knocked on her door, but didn't receive a response either. Live in Des Moines, Ophelia Jacobson, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.